So in this video, I'll be showing you how to use Active Track with the Neo. So we'll show you the setup of it. It's pretty easy. But I'm also going to compare the Active Track with my Mini 4 Pro. You're going to see some differences because I'm going to be using my RC2. Now you obviously can use your RCN2 or your RCN3 with the phone. It's very similar, but in this tutorial, I'm going to be using my RC2. So guys, the first thing we've got to do is get the Neo up and then I'll show you what you can do with it. So the drone's on now, the Neo's on and I've got my RC2 on. Now if you notice on the screen, we haven't obviously got waypoints, but you've got the focus track just above the auto takeoff. So what we're going to do first, we'll just get the drone sorted first. I'll just have the drone, it doesn't matter. I don't think it matters about it being faced here, but I just wanted to show you what, it's, what it looks like on the screen. So just do auto takeoff. What I love about this, you can just do it from your hand. Okay. So if I press the focus track on the left hand side there, so it's been enabled. I'll just draw a box around me. So what you get, you've got active track spotlight, which is the, the one what we got at the moment. So if I walk whatever way, the drone will turn. It won't move. It will just turn. And I, you know, just keeps you in picture really. So if I do point of interest, that's another one. Now this will do a circle. If I go to anti-clockwise, I can make it go faster or slower. And if I move it around the other way, it will stop and go back clockwise. That's a pretty good thing to do, isn't it? I think it's what I like about that, you can set your distance, you know, by walking back. Now, if I just walk about, it should just keep me still in, in focus there. So that's quite handy. So let's try Active Track. Okay. So on Active Track, it doesn't give you the, the same options that I've had on my Mini 4 Pro. Um, it's, it's doing the same, it's like a bit like a follow. And what it would do, it would, it would go around the back of me. It won't go at the side. So I'll just stop that and mow. I'll just try again. So unfortunately you've got no other options there. I'll just put up the navigation thing there. Um, you, it's nothing like the Mini 4 Pro. So active track. Now, as soon as you do active track, you can see the big dial that comes up on the left bottom there. Uh, and we've got a choice of auto, manual, and parallel. I'll put it on auto. Now, with auto, it does what I call like the master shots. And we'll see if that will do that. I don't think it will do that on the Neo. So it's just doing the helix at the moment. So we stop that. We press it again, manual. So on manual, it's going to follow me about now. And obviously another one that we can test is parallel. So it's gonna come parallel to me. So as I'm walking sideways, the drone be there. Now I can bring that drone down a bit if I wanted to. I did see a video uh, the other day where this guy was supposedly using a Neo and it was like um, a parallel. So there, there, I'm at the side there but you can see already it's, it's, it's already going back behind me. And if I go forward, it's, it's not, it's staying there at the moment. Now, will it pick me up? It's picked me up. So, I mean, that, that's pretty good. I mean, you're not gonna see me on a motorbike or uh, one of those electric scooters because I don't do things like that. I'm an old bloke, I just like walking about. <laughs> 
So that puts the myth away because I did have a question. And unfortunately, I can't find that question. And the guy was asking me, will the Neo go parallel? And obviously this guy that put a video up saying, you can, you can't. You can't do it on the Neo. You just seen it. It's a bit like the follow me mode to, as far as I'm concerned, but it, they call it active track. Possible. There might be another update with a Neo. I don't know. You never know with DJ idea. Let's just come out of the active track a moment. I've still got it. What you do, you just press that focus track. That takes you out of the uh, focus track itself. If I walk to the drone. Landing. That's what I love about this drone. Guys, do not compare this with the Mini 2 or the Mini 2 SE or the Mini 3. Those, they're different types of drone. This to me is a fun drone. But anyway, I thought I'd just show it to you. Um, I, I don't know why people try and mislead people when they said it, it can do things when it actually can't. See, it cannot do the parallel mode. At the moment, maybe DJI will come up with another update. They seem to be doing a few updates on the Neo at the moment. So, another video coming very soon. Mm -hmm.